The next reflex I want to explain to you is the sucking and rooting reflex. The next reflex I want to explain to you is the sucking and rooting reflex. Now this reflex is there for the infant's survival so that they know how to feed when they're first born. Now you will see this in an infant when you brush their cheek and they turn because they believe they're going to get fed. This is obviously very important for the initial stages of life so a child knows how to feed, knows how to suck so that they can survive. Now sometimes, as most mothers know, some children just don't feed as well as others. It could be because of this sucking and rooting reflex. If for some reason, and there could be many reasons, the child did not go through or successfully accomplish this reflex or this stage, it stays active. So what does this look like for your child? A child that may still have an active sucking or rooting reflex may have a hard time articulating their speech. Their speech might sound mumbled. They might be very fussy and messy eaters. They might have really bad teeth. So the way this affects a child in school is just having a really hard time articulating what they want to say. Now this reflex is usually really easy to recognize in a child just from watching them. You will know if your child fiddles with their mouth, chews on things, whether they are constantly sucking on something. This is a good indication that a child's sucking or rooting reflex is still active. If you believe that your child still has an active sucking or rooting reflex, I would encourage you to come over to my website and check out the program where we'll show you very simply how to overcome this reflex.